With temperatures around 100 degrees this weekend and into next week, power officials say the grid is ready to handle that increased demand. John Thedford takes a lot of pride in his yard. The life of a retired person. Going outside every day to water his plants when it gets this hot. This is a great myrtle. Even more important than water for the garden is the air conditioning inside his house. The older you are, the more difficult the heat is. It's unbearable. That's why he was concerned when around 450 homes in his neighborhood lost power this morning after a tree took down the power lines. The only thing I can do when it goes out is just wait. Safety is, is, a, is a big deal when temperatures get this warm. Scott Brooks says the TVA had one of its highest electricity demand months ever in June. And the demand is only going to get worse during this next heat wave. Do people have to be concerned at all about possibly losing power? We think we're in a good situation, in a good position to, to meet the demands into next week. Scott says you can help conserve power by turning off extra lights, closing your blinds, and raising your thermostat by a couple of degrees. NES has crews on standby if there are any outages. We watch every day to make sure our systems are prepared for the, the heat that's coming. Brent Baker says even when they trim trees, there's no way to keep the power from randomly being knocked out. So they use technology to get your air back on. We have a lot more substations and switching capability to make sure we can get as many customers restored quickly in an event like this. So people like John only have to worry about keeping their plants alive in the extreme heat. I just like to do it the old fashioned way. In Bellevue, Brendan Tierney, WSMV4.